so alive Feel it again, feel it again Feel it again, feel it again Unlock the cage and free my heart This is where the journey starts Now it begins, now it begins Now it begins, now it begins This is gonna be a good Hey, welcome back to Swimming with Dolphins and the start of our trip across the southern coast of New Zealand. This time we're based 6 kilometers from Curio Bay or Porpoise Bay, which is known for its friendly and curious hectic dolphins. We also visit the petrified forest which is right next door in Slope Point, the southernmost point of mainland New Zealand in this video. But we're actually camping at a free spot just 6 kilometers away at Waikawa, which is right on the estuary. You are the fire. Well this will do us for a night or two at Waikawa, this is a freedom camping area, perfectly flat here, toilets, rubbish and the estuary is right there, and only a few kilometres from Kudo Bay. The sun has now come out, yes, see if we can see some Hector Dolphins. Now if you're like me you often hear about these great places, swimming with dolphins, the best fishing spot ever, lots of power, wildlife everywhere, whatever it is, but then you get there, you turn up, and it often feels like a massive letdown. No fish, no wildlife, but Porpoise Bay or Curio Bay seem to have plenty of Hector Dolphins swimming around. Oh, the good news are the dolphins are in the water. We can see them from the shore. Probably pretty hard to get a video of them this close, but we're wetsuiting up. I'm going to go and have a look, see if we can get close to them. So lots of excitement as we headed down to the water. Also a little bit nervous because it is the bottom coast, so pretty cold down here. Dolphins. This is so fun, but it's freezing. <laughs> wow. The dolphins seem to kind of keep their distance from us at first. Maybe we were too close together as a group, or maybe it was Toby telling them to go away. I can't be sure. <laughs> Toby's a dolphin, it's like safer than a penguin. Yes. No. Oh, what? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Toby, stop. We're going away. Dropped into the unrelenting world of in between. Behind the questions, there's a murmur echoing, a wordless sentence in between the lines. Was that Jade? Great. It's your favourite animal, eh? One of them, yeah. Um, I saw a baby one with the mum and they circled around me. They came so close to me, I could have touched them, but I didn't. <laughs> Definitely not difficult to get uh, close to them and to see them. I think they're here of November through to May, but really cool. So just below here is the petrified forest, an ancient fossil rock tree thing. So let's go and have a look at that. So if fossils and museum type places aren't your scene, then you can join my club. But I was quite impressed with how much was going on down here at the petrified forest. Is it? What is it, Jade? Petrified wood. Is it hard? Yeah. It feels like rock. Like rock. 
Like, I want to feel it. What does it feel like, Toby? It feels really hard. Yeah, this tight. This is actually more impressive than I thought it was going to be. It looks like you could just like flick a piece of wood off, but it's stone. It's crazy. Petrified. Pretty amazing how you can see these whole big logs, and they still have the grain and all the texture of wood, but it's petrified. It's like turned to stone. You can imagine eh, all those little scrubby bush trees you kind of get in on some farmland that kind of don't grow too high but good windbreaks. You can see they would have just stood here in these spots. Sophie noticed on this old tree log that you could still see the knots that were in the wood. pretty interesting that it's just open to the public for people to be able to wander around and do what we're doing to it, bang it and prod it and try and rip pieces off, but it's pretty interesting. I thought there was just like one or two cool things to see here, but it's actually all the way from the stairs over there where we've walked the whole way along, like even just here there's another big one, look at that. It's like an actual a petrified forest, not just a couple of logs. If you come here, definitely have a good look around. There's uh, lots of different kind of things to see. Don't just like stop at the stairs, come all the way down. So what causes this? They reckon this area was flooded and then rich volcanic silica kind of was absorbed into the wood. I don't really know a whole lot about this stuff, but I just think there was a flood, there was silica, and then we got stone trees. So right across the road from the petrified forest is this living forest. Very nice and peaceful in here. They reckon a lot of the trees that are in this forest are very similar to the to the stone trees you find down at the beach there. We think uh, Curie Bay campground is really cool. It's well thought out, lots of good shelter. Not sure what the wind situation is most of the time of the year, but um, yeah, it's definitely a good option. We're trying to free camp though, keep our costs down. But it is a good spot, like at least you got power, water, laundry, kitchen, bathrooms and things like that. And then we were off to Slope Point. It was a lot hillier to get here than I thought, but this is the most southern point of the South Island of New Zealand. Alright, well we've swum with the dolphins, now we're here at Slope Point, about a 15-20 minute drive from where we just were. Every video I've seen it's been cold, windy and miserable here, it's actually pretty warm and a very light, light wind, so let's go and do the walk. Not true, not true. Follow the years and hear how they echo Floating in syncopation Days like scenes Oh, they play like dreams So hold
bottom of the country. We've been from the no. top, bottom of the mainland. We've been from the top of the mainland to the bottom of the mainland. Alright, this adventures continue. It's time to go to Stewart Island. <laughs> All right, team, well, that wraps up our whole stay traveling through the Catlins. We spent about 15 days going through here, and we tried to not miss too much. It was an awesome spot, and we had a really good time, and we hope that you've enjoyed following our journeys through here. Next time, we're going to be traveling through the southern coast of New Zealand along the bottom. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.